Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button right now. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Also guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram page is the same as here, Miss Serenity Smith. And also if you want to join the Chatterbox for exclusive videos and live streams, Make sure you click the link in the description bar. You do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. It is $1.99 a month. Um, also, I do have merch. That link is in the description box as well. So today I'm going to show you guys my babies, Mr. Cody. I did name him Cody. Thanks for the suggestion, uh, one of my viewers. Uh, suggested the name Cody and I really like it for him so I have Cody and Hunter and then of course you know little Lily Grace is next to him because she's just a spoiled little brat and she thinks she's supposed to be in everybody's video everybody's pictures I don't know I just she's just always here so but a little bit of backstory on um, Cody Cody came to me as a girl he is I, um, he is the Dwayne Asleep sculpt by Claire Teller. He was sculpted by Claire Teller and he was also painted by Claire Teller, which is rare form because he is a vinyl. Um, but he came to me as a girl, but I just keep seeing him as a boy. So I've changed him as a boy and I've able to bond more with him. I have this indecisiveness with myself I'm the worst person in the world when it comes to making decisions primarily on dolls that I really love so I usually toggle back and forth am I gonna sell a baby am I not gonna sell a baby before I actually sell them if I end up selling them sometime I don't um I've actually done that one time with Paris me and more she's the oldest reborn that I have She's been with me for about seven years now. I think seven, are we going, seven going on eight years maybe? Seven years at least. And then I did put Katie Lou up for sale once before, but she's been here. Um, this is her, I want to say her, she's been here at least a year. Because she was there for the last year doll show. So yes, she's been here at least a year. And, um... So yeah, um, I'm gonna slide her over so I can, <laughs> I'm actually gonna move her over here so I can get um, him dressed. So yeah, so I had him up for sale and of course if I sell him, I have to sell him as a girl because he has an anatomically correct girl tummy plate, but I am not going to um, use it as when as long as he's in my personal collection he will remain as a boy and he will remain as Cody um so that's that I just it's just my preference of the sculpt I did kind of straighten out his hair a little bit and gave him a little <laughs> twirl of a curl um his hair is completely dry um but yeah he is a beautiful baby this this kit um actually is a good size like they can easily wear zero to three months or newborn um because they they're a good size he's like the sculpt is like 20 inches i think or whatever but it's a good good size baby um i'm gonna try to see what he looks like in this mustard color but um yeah so i actually will be painting a duane um another duane sculpt i'm gonna paint it to sell though i'm not gonna keep it i'm gonna paint it to sell and um I decided, I can't decide if I want to send my Evie off for rooting or just sell her as a ball baby and send somebody else for rooting or if I want to 
See, this is a thing. I don't root the vinyl, so I always have to struggle between which babies go for hair and which babies don't. So it's always, you know, that hard choice. Um, because I'm actually painting another Mick, awake and asleep, and I'm debating, like, should I just sew Evie as a ball baby and send my Mick as a paint, as a rooted, to get rooted? That's what I'm struggling with right now. So I'm really considering, that's what I'm really considering. I'm thinking I may possibly hold out. Oh my God, he looks so great in this color. I don't know. See, and it's so hard for you guys to see what I see, but he, he looks so great in this color. He is such a cute baby. He's really cute with a passy too. I love this this one. I know a lot of people, more people are, are all into the Awake Dwayne's. And I love the Awake Dwayne's. Um, I have a more serious face. But the Sleeping Dwayne's is the ones that look more, you know, relaxed than, you know, more of a calm baby, I think. And, you know, when, um, when the Sleep Silicone Babies came out, I really, really struggled with um, when I seen them as far as wanting one. Um, you know, it's, you know, of course, like I've said a million times before, the body style was not my choice in silicone. So it was a hard pass for me. But I think they are the sleep ones in the silicone. It's so adorable because... You know, in silicone, you, you, you can put the pacifier in and their little mouth opens. And I don't know, it's just something about the, the um, that medium that gives the babies a different look. But yeah, I was drooling over the sleep, the sleep. But I love the awake too. Don't get me wrong. I think they they have the cutest realistic faces just like the vinyl. Um, I just wasn't my choice for my personal, for my collection. Oh my goodness, he just looks so adorable. Love, 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 love this baby. Now, as a boy, <laughs> it just took took him being a boy. I mean, I was like, dang, I, I don't know what it is, but I just couldn't, I couldn't connect. But now it's like, now that he's a boy, it's like, yes, this is it. This is what I, what I want. So, um, and you know, I'm, that's the thing, a vinyl, because you have so much flexibility to pose them, they can turn different ways. You can, you know, you can do so much with their, you know, their arms and moving them around a lot more than the silicone, no matter how soft and flexible the silicone is, it'll never be able to do what the cloth body does. I mean, even with the armatures, which there's a catch 22, the armatures helps them pose but they don't help them, they still won't help them flex in the ways that, you know, you can do with a vinyl. Like you, you might, you might be able to turn their head up or down or, you know, the, move their arms up and down, I mean, but you can't really like stretch their arms out. You know, it's just a lot of different things that you can do. Sorry. <laughs> it's just a lot of, little boy. He didn't want to turn his head. It's just a lot of different things that you can do with the reborns that you can't do with your silicone when it comes to posing and stuff like that. So that's why I have a love for both. Um, but then you know, like with the vinyl, with the re the silicone, you can put them in different clothes, and you can just put them in a, just a diaper, um, and you know because they're full body, the realism is there in that aspect. So it's just really, you know, a lot of different, the difference in between the both is, you know, what makes me love them. But when it comes to my silicone, like full body for my personal collections, baby that I, babies that I tend to keep and bond with. Um, and when I say bond, you guys get it, doll people. I'm not going to explain it for people that are not doll people. I'm, I'm over it. Um, I can't. I have to have a certain 
realism in the body style. I like a certain flow. I'm very particular because of the limitation of the of the, the body of the silicone. So I don't want something that's going to be stuck in a you know awkward position or anything like that. So that's why I'm very particular about when I select what silicone babies that I keep in my personal collection. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about the Willows because um, the Willows, Zoe, which was Zoe by Claire Taylor, um, were some of my favorite body styles. Um, and of course, um, Zoe and Andrew, which used to be Kingston, they had the same body. Them and Zoe, Andrew, and Zadia all share the same exact body. So those they I really love the bodies on those and so um for some reason with uh Willow he has a little bit of that but everything that needed to be tweaked from the zone he's like improved the improved version so every you know it's like I don't know it's like he's the best of both of all worlds like he has a little bit of every little thing that I liked in Claire Teller um, sculpting. So that's one of the babies that I really loved. Um, there's other babies that I'm just talking from babies that's been in my collection that's been full body that I've actually really, really loved. Um, so that's that's my whole thing. That's why I, I like I do I want to take the best fire out. I do I do I do not. But that's one of the, the things that I love and I really, um, yeah, so I'm really, really particular about that. I I feel like sometimes we get so caught up, like, you know, sometimes people take the greatest photos and they pose the babies just perfectly. You ever bought a doll where you've been so in love with it in the photos, but when you get it home, you can't quite get it the same way as the photos um, a lot of people use different props. They take pictures at different angles to show the baby to look more flexible or to look more fluid in the photos and stuff like that. And it gives us this illusion that this baby is going to be flexible and this baby is going to look realistic. And then you get it home and it's not that. And it kind of throws you off. So, well, some of us. And then, so I've I've done that before. So I've learned to try to calm down and see the baby as a whole you know and I one of my pet peeves um with um a lot of artists or prototype artists or sculptors is showing a full body baby completely clothed all the time or just in one position like you always on its on its back turned to one way or the other um, never, never lay it on a stomach, you know, so that you can see the, the, the form of the back or the little buttocks or whatever, you know, I, you know, I try to keep a, try to, and I know it's, it's, it's easy to admit to do it. Sometimes it's not that they're trying to mislead you. It's just that if the baby looks so cute and better in that position, it's so easy for you to just put them in that position, those positions and photograph them. And you're not thinking like the collector need to see the baby as a whole entirely so that they can make an informed decision because every collector is not as picky as I am when it comes to that part. Like some collectors don't care. I spoke with a collector the other day and she really enlightened me on her perspective of you know, searching for a full body baby. There I was going on and on about, oh, the baby looks stiff. Oh, the baby, you know, the sculpting is a little off, this and other. And, and then she broke it down to me that, you know, she had a baby that was not perfect when it was born. And she's okay with those discrepancies in the sculpting. Or she doesn't care if it's stiff. She just want to hold it for the weight. And, you know... So everybody have different needs and different things. So I think that artists should not be afraid of just showing their work fully, openly, and entirely and letting the collector make an informed decision because there's always someone out there that 
will love your work despite whatever flaws or discrepancies you may see it as because I may see it as a flaw. They may see it as a, you know, endearing um, characteristic or something, you know, I don't know. But yeah, so, you know, it's just like me with when I paint my dolls, I'm so judgmental of my own work. I toggle back and forth like, oh my God, I don't, I don't like this. I don't want to do this. I don't think I, I, I can't sell this. I can't do this. I can't do that. And then, you know, another collector see it and fall in love with it. And then they'll point out the very thing that, that bugged me. And, um, oh my God, I just love her so much. Every time I look at her and I look at that little milk thing I did there, I really like that I did that. I'm, I'm really taking risks now in my work, but anyway. That's, sorry, I, I have to keep, I get thrown off bothering with her. Um, I even thought about sending her out for hair instead of um, Evie and so that she can have hair. But then I thought, I don't think I'm ready to be without her for like two weeks. So I'm thinking once I finish my other Mick, maybe I can send, I would be able to send her. But I would, I'm going to have to let the... <laughs> the rooter know to let me know to send her when it's a time when she's not gonna you know when she can kind of get to her you know pretty soon after she get there because I don't want to I don't want her to be gone for a long time so anyway that is that and so I'm um I'm, I'm just you know that that's it I'm gonna leave with this because this video is very long and um let me see is it it's so light, it's so so dark. I don't know why it's so dark, but anyway, um, I think their colors are showing up pretty decent. They might be a little bit um, lighter. So I don't know, but that that's that's that. And um, anyway, guys. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Give me a comment and let me know what you're thinking. Of course, I love all you guys' comments. I read all your comments. I don't just heart them. I actually read them. And I try to filter some of that stuff into the future videos. So, And I know someone requested to see Paris Memoir, so she'll be coming soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.